Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to find out real values of x. The given equation is x cube plus 23 over 8 equal to square root 61. I will share two different ways to proceed this question. So let me write here method number 1. And this method is based on Simon's favorite factoring trick. First of all, I will write x cube plus 23 equal to 8 square root 61 or we can write x cube equal to 8 square root 61 minus 23. Now we will multiply this equation by 8. So I can write here 8 x cube and this side 8 times 8 64 root 61. 23 times 8, this value will be 184. Now, I can write 8x cube as 2x whole cube. 64, I will split 61 plus 3. So, 61 root 61 plus 3 root 61 minus 184. It would be minus 183 minus 1. Now I can write 61 root 61 is root 61 whole cube. And this negative 1 I will be writing here as negative times 1 cube. Then I can consider minus 183 as minus 3 times 61. And 3 root 61 I will be writing here 3 times root 61. Now further we can write root 61 whole cube minus 1 cube minus 3 times this is root 61 a square times 1 plus 3 times root 61 times 1. Now you can see it is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So this is formula of a minus b whole cube. So I will be writing root 61 minus 1 whole cube. Now we have power 3 both sides. So let us consider cube root. So I can write here 2x whole cube equal to root 61 minus 1 whole cube. So I can write after taking cube root root 61 minus 1. So x will become finally root 61 minus 1 over 2. This is our method number 1. Now I will share method number 2. Now I will be writing x cube first. So x cube is equal to 8 root 61 minus 23. We can conclude from here x cube is greater than 0. So for real solutions x should be positive only. So condition on x is x must be positive. Now I will consider y cube also which will be the conjugate of x cube 8 root 61 plus 23. Now I will take away second equation from first one. So I can write x cube minus y cube. This will be equal to minus 23 minus 23 minus 46. Let me write here. And I will take product of x cube and y cube now. So I can write here x cube minus y cube equal to minus 46. Let's call equation 1 it is. And if I will take the product of x cube with y cube, then it is equal to 8 root 61 minus 23 times 8 root 61 plus 23. Now this is a minus b times a plus b. 
so we can write difference of two squares formula 8 root 61 whole square minus 23 whole square so this will become 64 times 61 minus 23 whole square now this product will be 64 times 61 will be 3904 23 square is 529 and this difference will become 3375 which is cube of 15. So left hand side we have xy whole cube. Right hand side we have 15 whole cube. Again power is 3. Let's take cube root. Now we have two equations. This is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2. Now let me write here once xy equal to 15 x cube minus y cube equal to minus 46. Now I will use here one algebraic identity x minus y whole cube. This formula is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy in bracket x minus y. Now let us consider x minus y equal to a. So I can write a cube this equation in a equal to this is our equation 1 and here we will use equation 2. So minus 46 minus 3 times 15 times a. So a cube equal to minus 46 minus 45 a or we can write a cube plus 45 a plus 46 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation and remember our substitution is x minus y equal to a. Let's solve if I will apply a equal to minus 1. So it will give us solution see minus 1 minus 45 plus 46 this is making our equation 0 that means a equal to minus 1 is one root of this equation now i can use remainder theorem i will be writing a plus 1 is one factor of this cubic equation cubic equation let's apply remainder theorem let me write here a cube plus 45 a plus 46 equal to 0 and a plus 1 is one factor so i will be writing our leading term a cube as a square times the factor now I have to compensate extra term. It is plus a square, so minus a square plus 45a plus 46 equal to 0. a square a plus 1 minus a and then factor a plus 1. What is extra? It is minus a. So I need to write here plus a plus 45a plus 46 equal to 0. Now a square a plus 1 minus a a plus 1 46a plus 46 equal to 0. a square a plus 1 minus a a plus 1 46 is common in bracket a plus 1 equal to 0 or a plus 1 times a square minus a plus 46 equal to 0. Conclusion from here a plus 1 will be 0 or a square minus a plus 46 equal to 0.
let us solve these two equations one by one. So if I will solve second first, a square minus a plus 46 equal to 0. And if I will check only discriminant, then this will be equal to b square minus 4ac. Minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 46. So this value will become 1 minus 4 times 46. This value will be 4, 184. So this is minus 183. Discriminant is negative. It will give us complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation. Rejected. So which solution we are going to accept? It is a equal to negative 1. So I will write a equal to negative 1. a was our substitution. x minus y equal to minus 1. And our second equation was xy equal to 15. Now it is easy to solve this system. So from here I can write y equal to 15 over x which I will apply here in x minus y equal to negative 1 equation. So I can write x minus 15 over x equal to negative 1. Multiply this equation by x. So x square minus 15 equal to minus x. x square plus x minus 15 equal to 0. Now quadratic equation, we can apply quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b, so minus 1 plus minus square root b square, so 1 minus 4ac plus 60 divided by 2a, so 2 minus 1 plus minus square root 61 divided by 2. So I can write minus 1 plus root 61 over 2 minus 1 minus root 61 over 2. If you will check, second value is negative and this is positive. So negative will be rejected. So our answer becomes this one. So I will write here x is equal to root 61 minus 1 over 2. This brings the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video friends. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.